Okay, so a quick update. I have surpassed the number of hours I'm allowed to upload onto SoundCloud. And so what I'm doing instead is uploading everything to YouTube. I can upgrade the amount of hours I'm allowed to upload to SoundCloud, but that would cost money. I do not have any money. So for now, Nothing Cast will live on YouTube. And you can enjoy every episode that we've done so far and every episode for the foreseeable future. Hi! <coughs> Sorry, I'm ready now. It's, it's recording, I started recording. Okay, well then that's the beginning of the video, <laughs> the podcast. Okay, no, no. Yeah, we don't we don't have a, we don't have a slogan. Hello, internet. Hi. How's it going? Um, Good. <laughs> <laughs> I speak. I speak on behalf of the entire internet. You speak on behalf of the, the entire internet. Yes, I can uh, hear well, their uh, cries of it's joy. Uh, it's good to hear from <laughs> our show. The entire internet. <laughs> um, how you been? Good. Are you seeing anyone? Oh yes. This uh. <laughs> uh, social media lady. She's nice, but know. she won't. But she won't shut up. She gets offended by everything. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm kidding. Um, so Merry Christmas. Uh, you offended me. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> you did, you did. You. Yeah. Well, You're offended. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your Christmas spirit? <laughs> <laughs> you just tell it to some, uh, some Jewish kid. <laughs> he's sitting there with his, Merry Christmas. He's, just, he's holding like, like his menorah like in his dreidel, and like, you're like, 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 where, and they're and they're like, like where's your <laughs> Christmas spirit? And he just like walks he's out the front. He slapped him. He slapped him across the face. No, he slapped the menorah. He <laughs> slapped the menorah out of his hand. Oh, man. <laughs> what the hell? Um... <laughs> This, this Sorry guy. if you're Jewish. It's kind of good. <laughs> it's got juicy fat. Um, That's the way George does it. <laughs> That's how George does it. That's how George does it. Fast and messy. <laughs> That's how I kill Jewish kids. <laughs> he just slaps menorahs. <laughs> slaps menorahs right out of their hands. Right out of their hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. This is already horrible. <laughs> Welcome to Nothing Cast, the show where we laugh about nonsense <laughs> and their own jokes. Fun of people. And make fun of other religions. Fun of other people's religions. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. At least it's not you don't Harry Potter. It. So it's not Harry Potter 5. If you don't get it, humor, <laughs> that's fine. Not it's not that funny. Clan. That's the thing. Yeah. It's um, a movie, actually. It's called oh, Harry Potter 5. It stars is, you. Yeah, that is a movie. Yeah, go to the internet, search up www.harryplotter.weebly.com. There's some horrible movies. It's Harry spelled H A I R Y. Because we're really creative. And Potter spelled P L O T T E R. Um, you'll find. And you'll find the greatest. The movies. terrible things. So there's greatest the, independent films ever produced. The, okay, so the first, I'll, I'll I'll just give them a rundown. So the first okay. two are horrible. Don't watch them. Uh, okay, I like the the quality. The third one, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The last half hour is like my favorite third act in almost any movie ever. <laughs> Definitely just, in any movie. In any movie. In any movie. Yeah, in any movie, I say in any movie ever, though, honestly. There's some moments where I got some chills on my spine, like, oh, the writing is so good. For that one scene we did a writing for. That one scene that we wrote. Yeah, that one scene that we wrote. You'll know, you'll know the scene. But anyways, go check that out. We need popularity. It's something we lack. Check that out. Yeah. Shameless plug on a podcast that probably maybe. No one, no one paid us to say this, by the no, way. Yeah. <laughs> no one said. No. One, no. This is something we're telling you genuinely yeah. because we really because, because we thought it was really cool because it was something that we did. Yeah, all the trailers are great too, but they're mostly inside jokes. So, oh, the the trailers. The trailers. Are, yeah, you can watch trailers. Yeah, watch there the trailers too, if you're interested. Yeah. Um. Fuck. Why am I so tired? Well, okay, it's, I'm not even that it's tired. Only 10 30. It's only 10.30. It's only 10.30. Okay, I, I crashed at, like, like 2 o'clock, and... Yeah. Seven, like, 7 or... No, it was, like, it was, like, it was, like, uh-huh. like 8, I think. It was, like, Wait, 8. Oh, like, 
earlier, like like, like today. Like I like it was yeah, like PM. It was like oh. two PM and eight PM. I crashed. I crashed at two. I thought I was gonna. That was when we were watching it. Yeah, right? when we were watching. Or no, but right before that, I was crashing. Yeah. No. And then, okay, like, no, like during no, no. dinner, during, I, was like, I crashed for like or during lunch. Yeah, during, during lunch, lunch, that was lunch. Lunch yeah, was before lunch, I was like falling asleep. Yeah, lunch, we were, we were all falling asleep. <laughs> and then Ant Man. Then we watched Ant Man. I only crashed for like 20 minutes. I'm pretty happy about so, that. I missed like none of it. Let's talk about Ant Man. Oh, hey. That's a movie. That's a good idea. That's, so, that's something that we. Is Ant Man is similar to great. Things we about. It's great. It's pretty good. The only thing is that all the movies in the MCU are actually pretty great, and I have no idea where to put it. All I know, you would yeah, all I know about Phase Two is that Thor was probably like my least favorite one. I don't even remember that one as much. Exactly, I, ex- that's why I'd I was, like to see it again, just because I've seen all the wait, other ones at least more than once. Wait, was Iron Man in Phase? Iron Man Three was Phase Two. No. Yeah. No. But Iron Man Three, I have. It's too far away. It's so that was dumb. so long ago. That was two thousand thirteen. Yeah, it was Dude. a few years ago. Dude. That's how long Phase Three is. Fucking forever. I know. There's like a million movies coming in. Well, you know what? They burned it. They kind of... Like, but Iron Man 3... But they keep adding more movies. You know what? I don't care. But they have it's a... so good. They have a movie after Avengers 3, the two-parter one. But, but, that, but it's only... It's between the two parts, though. No, but they, they have... In, in Humans is coming out after part two of uh, Infinity War. That was coming out after part one. It was, and then they got pushed back. I because they push it back. Because they added Spider-Man and Ant-Man and Wasp. That's why. So now it's 29, 2020 or something like that. Uh, maybe 29... I forget. Yeah. But it's coming out after Avengers 2. No, it's, it's it's 2019, but it's oh. coming out like a few months later. Oh, speaking of 2020, this yeah. is a nice segue. Uh, I had an eye examination recently. Apparently, 2020 is not perfect vision. It's just is, it's really not, it's really it's, it's really good, it's really average. Oh, it's, it's average. just super average. <laughs> uh, I actually have? I have 2015. Vision. What does that mean? It, it's like try to think. I try I tried to think of it as like. A fraction like twenty over fifteen. It's like what's better, one or oh, okay. like one point something. So you're like a little bit better. I'm than a little average. bit better than average. Okay. And like he, the the, do, the eye doctor guy said that twenty ten vision is like really really good. Like and some perfect. some baseball pitchers have it. It's like uh, okay. it's like perfect. That's cool. So I don't know what I have, but I bet it's at least average because yeah. I don't need glasses. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're good. We're good as far as glasses. Our mom's like. You guys should go get your eyes checked. So you don't have a dangling retina. It turns out I don't have a dangling retina, so I'm good. And, like, I did that the one time. And then the guy's like, okay, your vision is fine. Don't need glasses. I'm like, thanks. I knew that already. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, you can you can have to go to the eye. Like, the, the eye doctor, they can they can look at things in your eye. Like, it won't hurt, and your vision will be fine. But you can have, like, a dangling retina. And, like, that will... That will like mess up your vision if but like it doesn't get able, fixed. It, yeah, well, I would notice then if my vision was messed. No, up. No, but it doesn't get messed up right away. Well, I'll, I'll tell them. I'll let them know when I when I notice. Yeah, but when it does, when, <laughs> by the time I think it's like by the time you do okay, notice, yeah. it's too late. Like, yeah, I'm sure it is. There's but a point of no guess, return in dangling. Guess retinas. how often I get my <laughs> I think cast episode five dangling retinas. <laughs> guess how often <laughs> I'm an expert. Okay, yeah, but guess how dang- no, I'm not shut up. Guess how often I get my eyes checked at the. At the eye doctor, I forget what they're called. Guess how often? I don't know. Once a lifetime. That's how often. Oh wow! So wow, that's once so... every eighteen years. <laughs> so whoa, I, I've got twice in guess my lifetime. Yeah, well, not very often. Mm. So if this dangling retina thing is such a big problem, <laughs> I'm not gonna find out for another eighteen years. <laughs> so either way, or I'll or I'll find out when it's a problem. Because then I'll notice. No, I'm not so, imagining. There's imagining, no point in me going. Look, <laughs> unless there's a problem with my vision. It's like I'm imagining. I imagining someone goes goes up to this uh, this college graduate, like you know what? I have a once in a lifetime experience for you. Like what? What is it? Going to the eye doctor, and then he just walks away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's your logic. That's personified. <laughs> well, you go to this. Okay. <laughs> Doctor, the regular doctor you go to every whatever, every few months, yeah. just for a checkup, assuming yeah. you're rich, which we are. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> we have free healthcare. Oh, yeah. But We're not rich. <laughs> <laughs> Most Canadian healthcare oh, yeah. is free. I forgot we have free healthcare. Why but, did you 
Just because like, not everyone has a family doctor, so I was thinking that like poor people. No, it's not. Canada just no, it's just they have to like it. they just have to go to like a clinic, and it's harder to get that's because true. it's not like a family doctor that's like, yo, <laughs> I know all your fans. Okay, it's like I'm a part. Per- like I'm a I member thought, of it. For a minute, I thought I knew how the world worked, but I don't. <laughs> but okay, you go to the doctor every like few months for like a checkup, and they check your whole body, make sure nothing's wrong. Nothing's Good. Poor. Dentist, you go to. Every like six, six months, months, six months, because no one brushes their teeth and they clean them for you. <laughs> that's okay. That's the one thing that's always bothered me. Okay, this is actually on the topic of like movies and TV shows. I'm yeah. gonna bring it back. Yeah. In every like zombie apocalypse thing, no one cares about their own dental hygiene. That is true. That's the one thing I would do in a zombie apocalypse that no one else would think of. I would be like, because okay, people, kill you. people, no, you know what, people not flossing. That'll people. kill you eventually. No, no, gum disease leads to heart disease, leads to exactly. death. Exactly. So people are going to die from gum disease. Yeah, but I don't think that that's too slow. Like that's too slow. Of a I death. know, but it's it'll painful. Take, it'll you take know, years. I think I think regular. If you have, if you just, you don't have to get your full on cleanings every Maybe six they get months. Like, I think if you actually like really brush, like just like if you actually genuinely brushed every day, like what like, are you gonna? You don't have a whole lot to do, so of course you're just going other than like true. God, survive. Maybe uh, other than brush, like like no, but think about it. I, I, I'm like, I, people, I'm playing, for the, I'm playing for the long yeah, game. Okay. People raid, they, they raid their canned foods. I'm like, screw you. One, I'm going to learn to farm. Two, <laughs> I'm going to take all that toothpaste because I don't know when I make that stuff. <laughs> oh, wait, I actually learned, oh, there's a, yeah, there's a toothpaste just, recipe in an owl book I read. Yeah, it's like you put, get like salt water. No, no, it's baking soda and like yeah, that's orange peels soda. and water. And you just that's mix why, um, them, and like, and you just mix Arm those together. And, that's why Arm and Hammer makes, uh. Baking soda, toothpaste. Baking soda and toothpaste. Baking, yeah. So basically, you just you just facts. so that's so people in a zombie apocalypse. If you can't find toothpaste, just find baking soda. Also, water is really important. <laughs> exactly. Don't just water. Drink water. Don't. Okay. First. Okay. Zombie. Okay. Genuine. And if there is an actual zombie apocalypse, phase one. Make like just try to kill all the zombies first. I think that's a that's priority. No one. priority is survival. No, but like if the outbreak is small enough and it can be contained, oh, if it's small, like, then like it's, it's like yeah. well, it's like when you uh, like when your house, like if you have like a let's say like there's a little fire on the ground, what like, do you do? Do you run away and let your house burn to the ground, or do you try to put it out? If like, it's like it's Night like, of the Living Dead and it's just sprung out and there's enough yeah. people that know about yeah. it that they can they can kill off all the zombies mm-hmm. before it gets bad. That's that's what that's what, yeah, yeah that's that's that phase. That phase uh, when it gets yeah, too definitely. far, then you go into survival mode and yeah. then you focus on. Toothpaste and baking soda. No, you focus on fucking water. Yeah. Water <laughs> and food. Water and food and but, you know survival shit. Yeah, survival shit. Yeah. <laughs> farms, farms, farm, farming, farming. <laughs> Get your tractors out. <laughs> well, that's true. Okay, but farming, couldn't, farming. Couldn't you just get like salt water and like use that to brush your teeth? Just swish that around. Okay, I'm good for the next. That would know, that kill your canker sores. But yeah, just put salt on your teeth. Exactly, it kills the bacteria. Salt, salt <laughs> is known to kill bacteria. That's what that's a, that's what salt does. I thought it just made your French fries taste good and melt it does, the ice on the road. It does all those things. Well, salt, salt, salt's pretty salt great. is magical. Yeah, salt it's is. one of the essential ingredients in life. It's actually cool. Salt's pretty awesome. All organisms need salt to live. No. That's what we're gonna. That's what I'm gonna do one day. It's a I'm true gonna. Fact. I'm gonna win. That's why Jesus salt, is the I'm, salt of the earth. Okay, I'm gonna win. If it's Jesus, I think. Okay, okay. I okay. forget the quote. But okay, it's from I'm, the Bible. I'm gonna win salting. I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna win the world, like just okay. living, by making a device that solves two problems at the same time. I'm gonna make a device that takes salt water, separates it into salt and clean water. Yeah, they have that. It's called the sun. You know what? I'm gonna perfect <laughs> the sun. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna, but no one is doing anything to use the sun to their advantage. No one's putting a huge sheet of plastic wrap over the ocean. Why? 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 Waiting for the water to evaporate. Hit their plastic wrap and then go into a perfectly, perfectly fresh water thing. <laughs> and then Patrick's take, like, suck out the salt. <laughs> take a sample. The salt is there's so much water that it doesn't separate the salt from it. Okay. I love how dramatically you're defending your <laughs> argument. But at it's me, gonna be, and I'm just laughing. <laughs> at me. It's gonna work, okay? It's gonna it's gonna like suck up volumes of water, spit out his fresh drinking water and salt. 
So that way you can mm-hmm. not run out of salt because, you know, we're basically screwed as far as salt mines goes in like 80 years. 80 years we're running out of salt and you said it's essential to life. So you know what we need to do? We need to suck it out of that big ass ocean that takes mm-hmm. up 70% of the Earth's surface and is 97% salt water. That means a lot of salt, math-wise. It's true. <laughs> it's salt water. 97% of 70%? <laughs> okay, how much percent of water is salt, of salt water is salt? And how much is percent of the water? You know what? I'll have to look that up. <laughs> like, I think it's like um, 0.3 percent, probably. Okay, you know what? <laughs> but the ocean is let huge. Me, it's not like that surf. Area. Like that would like the 70 percent is like surface area. The ocean is yeah. really deep. The ocean is also the deep. The ocean is really deep. That's a good point. So if you just like if you like if you drink the ocean with the salt, like you're not you're not changing anything. <laughs> you're drinking it's 97 percent of the water on Earth is salt water, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, something like that. See, we we are smart. Of we're smart. This is I like, remember. This things. is just the life episode. We're just talking I, about. We're just talking about life. <laughs> we're just talking about life. Well, we should we call that. <laughs> we, did that well, we did that last. Um, uh, what was it? A couple episodes ago, where we. Uh, oh yeah. Where we just talked about. <laughs> we talked about, we just, talked about all my epiphanies. Epiphanies. <laughs> no, I've had many epiphanies. Your, your experience in yeah. middle school. Yeah, middle school is the worst. <laughs> just don't go. <laughs> just don't go. Just don't. No, middle school is a good idea in theory. In but. theory. Well, okay. It, it's I like think, it's kind of like it's not like real life. It's just like you no, like you take a step back from like everything and it's just like, like I felt like like I, this is just my imagination. Like I went to like this like sunny elementary school, and by the end I'm just like I'm just kind of sick of this. So by the time I get to middle school, I just I just in my brain I imagine this really gloomy place just because <laughs> you know they sent us outside in the rain. This so is true. So it's really gloomy, and I just like everyone's just, no one wears, everyone's just throwing no one's allowed no. to wear. Jackets, so yeah. everyone's yeah, no, and, yeah, no, no one wears jackets, everyone's just throwing <laughs> garbage at each other. This happens for this goes on for about two years, two years of you just in this gloomy setting throwing garbage at each other, and then suddenly you're back at like it's like, oh, what happened to it's like elementary school, but it grew up, and it's like, oh, you're actually accommodating for my my teenageness. <laughs> thanks, True. thanks. It's like high school, you're actually cool, thanks, thanks, man. What I liked about um, middle school was you got all of the bullshit high school drama from TV shows and movies done in two years. And oh, then in high yeah. school, it's like people can actually like be friends with each other yeah. and not be complete assholes all the time. Oh, but I had, I had stupid high school drama. Oh, I, it still happens, oh. obviously. Oh. But not I, as I much. Of, I always but, thought of my life as a TV but show. Everyone is but not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Okay. Douchebag in yeah. middle school. Okay. okay, but not a whole lot happened in grade nine. So I think it'd be more interesting if I started off my season when I was in grade ten, and that story. Yeah. And it, it shows flashbacks to grade nine. <laughs> That's <laughs> that. The so story. Stupid. It would be way more interesting. Would it be full, okay if your life is a TV show? When does the when does the series start? Does it is it like your whole life? So, like, the flashbacks would be flashbacks to earlier episodes, or the flashbacks... They'd be flashbacks would, to stuff we haven't seen. Or it'd be, like, new flashbacks, like it'd Arrow be, or, or whatever. Where it'd it's, be Arrow. It's, it'd it's, be Arrow, but it, wouldn't, it, would, it, it would, would only be, be occasionally, though. It, would, it wouldn't be, like, every episode would be to show a flashback. It would just be like, oh, here's relevant information, because Great Night wasn't exciting enough to make a whole TV show out of it. Uh, okay. But with but with if you take all the interesting parts from grade nine and put it together with all the interesting parts from grade ten, it's good enough to make a, a TV show. So that's my Three point fil- that's my philosophy philosopher <laughs> philosopher on on uh, my life as a TV show. Right now I'm in season two. And it's, season two is pretty great. I think season two is probably better than season one. You what are we talking about, Arrow? No? I'm talking about my life. Oh, your life. <laughs> season two of my life is a little better than season one, I'd say. Okay, what, sorry, go over it's season one again. Season one is listening. grade ten with flashbacks to grade nine occasionally. That's dumb. Why not start in grade nine? Because... You're starting? That's no, a good because, starting point for a show. My, I already create, create a great starting point for my show because it's actually happened to me. Basically, I'm just like... This, this okay. is a true story, true story. So I'm just like sitting Based in the hallway the and I'm like... I'm staring at someone, a girl, and the girl's staring at me, and then, and then she slaps me in the face, and then, that's cut a, to present day, and we're like, like friends and stuff. That's oh wait, this, uh, you've already lost me. Okay, okay, so that was great <laughs> nine. Going. That was like six. Okay, okay, so then like it's like we're friends and stuff, and then you see later in the flashback that um, 
like uh like because it's like oh how'd they get to be friends and like <laughs> like we have like a like we have like a thing like i like i i basically i i did all the talking for both sides of us so like we almost had like a falling out but like just both like we just like we just like weren't hanging out and stuff and i'm just like oh it's like i want to be friends and stuff and then but ba- like we were we were basically friends by the end of grade nine but then mm-hmm. but then um uh before uh what ha- you find out that uh, she slapped me because before exam she's like you know what, I'm really stressed out can I just slap you I'm like sure <laughs> so that's what happened so it's like oh so it turns out they were friends of the whole like so so, so okay. I create intrigue and you want to find so, out you want to find out so basically they're like I, well, I have issues with this you have issues so basically the like, grade 10 story unfolds yeah uh, um, but that um, it shows how we become good friends but and there's gonna be uh, an intrigue with that uh, the the slap in the, the beginning <laughs> that wants you to makes you watch the rest of the show. Okay, so my issue with this is yeah. you set you have a great setup, which is you getting slapped in the face. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want to see that. <laughs> you're the mon- <laughs> You're a monster. I was it's gonna say you're the worst. And it's you're a, a good monster. hour for me. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but that sounds like the start. That's like the start of your friendship or when you meet because this is in flashback, right? Yeah. So you're already friends in the current in the current yeah, storyline, yeah. right? Yeah. So you think that this is where you're meeting, no, but, but the flashback but it's really the flashback, just, it's like late in the flashback, but it's like present. Like we start like at the end of grade nine, and then it goes to the beginning of grade ten, so it's like chronological. But then it flashes back through the rest of grade nine, like and how it got to that point of the beginning. How it, how, how did it, how did it, how get it to got the to the slap? Is go is all leading up to the slap? It's is all that leading up to say? the slap. Even that's though. so dumb. No, it's not. It's not. It's like it's more just like it's so. Like it's, how did that? How did that universe? Like how did these all these people meet and get established? So, because that part's way more boring than so, us, than when we're already established and we're friends. Yeah, okay, like, I get that, but why... It's way better when your characters are already established but and the, stuff and you find so out later. The, so the slap isn't the... No, the it's not, it's not, it's actually not that, it's, the, it's actually not that important. So it's not even the flashback what's important at all. Is, what's important is the relationships between the characters. So is the, <laughs> so is the slap the starting point of, of the series or the ending point of the flashbacks? I'm so confused right well, now. It's, 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 bo- it's where they meet. No, so it's not where we meet. Like it's where the the stories meet, right? Yeah, it's like in it's like Memento. It's like the yeah. end of the movie. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, so the this, this, I actually thought about this. Like, okay, so the slap. That's how the series starts. Yeah. So do you just see you get that's slapped, or do you see the rest of that scene? Okay. So oh, no. So so this, so this, okay. okay. Let me see if I got this. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going okay, back and forth see, here. See. So the slap is the start of the episode, right? Of mm-hmm. the first episode. Yeah, yeah. So is this the point? Where we see, um, like, do we see the rest of the scene play out from there? So she go- no. she slaps you, and then she's like, "Oh, thanks for thank you for letting me slap you. That was really nice of you. No, I no. really needed that." No, or do you just see you get no, slapped? No, what happens? And get this is I've actually imagined scene. this. So basically, okay. it's just kind of like this, like uh, it's almost like a, it's like an air vent almost, like just like when there's no noise in a room, and you just kind of hear that ambient like air almost. So it's just like that ambient. So you just see like it's like a like a Wes Anderson kind of uh, like perfect like, <laughs> like perfectly shot, framed. perfectly framed shot of my face, and then it's a perfectly and, framed shot of her like face, and then and then it's a perfectly framed shot of my face, and then I get slapped, and the screen goes black. Oh, okay, and then it's like two <laughs> months. It's like one summer. You like, can fill a season. One, this one summer vacation later. <laughs> that's how I open my. That's how I open my. Season. Like we're all like we're buds and see, stuff. See, this doesn't work for a series though. That's a good, like, first episode. That could be an episode. You know what? Life doesn't work as a, as a TV series, but... <laughs> well, there's not enough... Yeah. You're gonna forget about the slap, because yeah. that's not an interesting yeah. enough point. It's not, but it creates <laughs> For an a whole element. season. You know what? It just creates an element of intrigue. And then that's, yeah, one element okay, of intrigue what, that you're gonna forget this, about by the show would two. only have one season... <laughs> Because season two doesn't have any flashbacks, and people will be like, "Wait a minute, what?" So, um, but the one season. So basically, what I would do is I would like build up the slap as like this big thing. It's like, oh, how it's like it's like they're friends now, like, and they have like cool adventures and stuff. And like, what, 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 what happened? But how did they? What they had like a falling out or something? Like, what, I want to know what happened there. It's not that and big, then, but it's and then, 
And then, basically, it's not, like, at first it's an intrigue, but then it's just a huge letdown. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a because, letdown from the start. Yes, Dan. <laughs> because it it's, an, it's just like, oh, he got slapped. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess they're friends well, now. I, okay, I guess well, that now I guess, the, now the, the, I guess they got over that. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? I could write a better TV show, but this was just my life. You so, could work it into an episode. You couldn't work that into a season. No, I couldn't. <laughs> It would have to be an up. Yeah, you're that right. That would be right. a good flash. Okay, that would, that would be, be a good, good, be a good for, pilot. Okay, that would be a good pilot, right? That'd be a good pilot. Yeah. Oh, because okay. by the end, because you start with the flashbacks. The first flashback yeah. is you meeting whatever wh- whoever this is, right? Yeah. Second flashback, yeah. your friendship develops. Third flashback, a, something a, else something happens. Something happens, and like we start to grow apart. And yeah. then, and then fourth the flashback, flashback, she's really stressed, and she slaps you. Yeah. And you, and that's it, and that's it. Yeah. End. Yeah. And so, yeah. Easy. Yeah, that's how that's how um that's how you write a show. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the that's the first episode. So I have one episode of a TV show about my life. <laughs> okay, uh, it's so a great ten episodes. It's a great ten episodes. <laughs> at least, at least, yeah, yeah. So do you have, of okay? Great 10. Do you have yeah? So do you have uh any? Do yeah, I have any adventures? Do you have a season of your life planned out? Like I don't even have. A day of my life. <laughs> no, no, I mean not like planned out, but like as like like you thought like as I it's work? happening to you, you're like, oh, Could I work? this would be a really cool season. Of okay, a TV the thing show. is, I always think of life as a movie, okay, or a show, so, so but I don't think of like so how things would would um, how story wise they would be interesting. I just think of how people but, are like characters. Okay, Dan. So, Dan, <laughs> but in the TV show of your life, you just got written off. I did. <laughs> all did. Your, all, your, really all did. your friends are back in high school, That's true. and you just got written off this show. I definitely got written off. You're the only show. ones at college. <laughs> but um, you show up for Christmas, so the Christmas is, special. Yeah. You show up for like I show the, up for, like, the, the, gradu- the graduation, the graduation, special. graduation episode. <laughs> but but you got written off the show. Yeah, right? I kind of did. <laughs> and I just rot away in your one. And I mean, dorm. <laughs> that was my original plan too. Sort of. <laughs> to get written off the show after, well, to, four, after four seasons? Well, I was never super attached to Eastwood. I don't know. The high school we go to. <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave that out. I'll bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was never super attached to the high school we go to. So. <laughs> oh, I have like a really weird noise. It'll um, be great. It'll be great. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you yeah. edit that. Yeah, I, will I guess edit. we're editing this. I'm going to have to edit this one. There's too All much. Right. Too There's many some errors. things that we messed up. Comedy of errors. <laughs> The error is but the like, comedy, but 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 for me, high school was so stupid, and I'm like, I just want this to be done. I want to go to whatever the next thing is. I'm sure it's much better than this because high school is so pointless. You're okay. And guess what? It is. It's pretty much pointless. Oh. Um, oh, I have a cool. My physics teacher is like, you know what's dumb about high school? Everyone gets all stressed about their grades, and yep. no one focuses on learning, which is what you're supposed to be doing. Exactly. But he said school should be. He's awesome. That's not the like, student's fault, though. That's no, no, it's not. You know, he says he thinks it should be different. He says he said school should just be about learning, so that way people don't get stressed about tests and grades and exactly. stuff. Exactly. He said there shouldn't be marks. And that's like what I feel it, like I feel like like. This is, and it's like, oh, but how would you know who is where? I feel like the teacher could go around and, like, just tell, like, maybe just ask a couple questions, and, like, they would be able to know if someone has learned something or not, like, pretty, exactly. pretty clearly. And then, like, they write down, like, a simple, they learned, or they haven't learned. Exactly. Like, That's what they're... There's two different levels you're at, and it's really obvious which one you are at, yeah. and I think it should be, fo- we should focus more on that. Yeah, exactly. High and then, and then, like you prove yourself in college applications and stuff like that, like where it's like, oh, sure. it's like, how much do you know about this? It's like, oh, here's how much I know about it. And this then, is the thing that I know. This yeah. is the thing that I know because yeah. I actually, I, just, I was not stressed at all. I just learned. Things. I just learned it, and it's 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 much easier with college. I'm actually learning things, mm-hmm. but that's also partly because I'm interested in what I'm mm-hmm. doing. Whereas high school is like I'm interested in like two courses, and the rest are like, okay, mm-hmm. let's just get through this. Mm-hmm. So. There's that as well, which is a, um, which is much different. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. That's the biggest. That's the biggest French, thing for me. French class was the worst. Exactly right. That's like the least. Why you need in high school? You don't. Yeah, that's it's like that's, that's like the the. If you want to take the it, worst it's there, but you worst highlight it. of the. Year. Because I know a lot of people who got out of taking 
grade nine French anyways, and and they are like graduated high school. It's like now. oh, it's so like I can't. I remember this one. Obviously, you know, this one guy I know. He's like he's like oh, I can't French, so they just let me do a woodshop credit instead. And then, <laughs> and then I count. I'm like oh, wow. You're, exactly. You're a jerk. <laughs> so you don't need French at all. You don't actually. So the fact that I had to take it is just complete bullshit. Because I don't. I wow. You're don't so because you're a special snowflake who doesn't remember anything who can't take French. <laughs> <laughs> well, so other some people are different than others. I'm, I don't care what what your reasons are for not taking French, but lucky you because French was stupid. Yeah, <laughs> French was stupid. Um, <laughs> well, I'm not. This is just about life in high school. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, the one about life. We'll one just call life. it the one about life. <laughs> sure, why not? Because mostly we talk about comic books and movies. And Usually stuff. we talk about comic books and movies and because that's the most important thing and that's you pretty much my life. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I guess all of them are about life. Like that's the it's other so thing. funny. In physics, whenever you get sidetracked, my physics teacher is just like, "Well, physics is life, so here we go. It, everything is relevant now. Every, he makes everything instantly relevant." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's great. Okay, <laughs> physics sounded fun to me because I know there's a, a trip that you get yeah. to go on. Yeah. Go to, um, you get to go to uh, an amusement park. And ride roller coasters and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Probably ever. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Yeah. But, but you, you have to do math. Yeah. And math is my least favorite but thing to do in the world. Why is math your least favorite thing to do in the world? Because it's fucking bullshit. Well, <laughs> physics, for me, it took the bullshit out of math. Because math is like, when am I going to use this? This is stupid. This is all dumb. Why, why am I doing this? Physics is all... Here, like, they're all word problems. They're all practical application that all makes mm-hmm. sense. It's like, it's like, could you survive jumping off of this building? Well, you can use physics to find that out. I'm sure you could, but I don't care. <laughs> you don't care about calculating the final velocity? I don't velocity? care about anything math-related yeah, anymore. I'm, you're the worst. It's too late for me. You're like, I've gone too far. I can't math anymore. Well, I've just given up. And you know what, I see no you know what the worst is? Okay, math. you know what I actually hate about math class right now? What? Well, you're, it's like, totally, you're, you're, you probably don't have this problem. Okay. Back in the day, they're like, you can't use calculators, but now they're like, you need, you a, calculator. need a calculator. So every time I do a minor like addition or subtraction or multiplication or whatever, I always use the calculator just because it's there, and I'm forgetting how to do it naturally. You're forgetting how to do like regular me- like adding and subtracting in my and, brain. And your time like, tables and everything. No, I remember. I still remember my time tables. I yeah. just can't like. I just can't do two digit numbers. Yeah, it's like twelve I, plus sixteen. Twelve plus six. It's like twenty eight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like it takes was, you was, much longer. It than took it me. Should. I should have been able to do it like that, yeah, but exactly. I can't because school is breaking me. And exactly. Something. That's my problem. That's that's the thing. School breaks you, and then you you can't enjoy learning anymore, and so you can't fucking do yeah. math because you're like, I just hate this, yeah. and I don't want to do it. I'm good at math. That's not my problem. My problem is I don't like having to do it endlessly to no end and to no purpose and gaining nothing from it. I don't yeah. like I don't like having a huge equation that has seventy steps that you have to write out every single one until you get the right answer mm-hmm. and. You know what's fucking worse? What? And fucking algebra, when you're when you're doing your x's and your y's and you're trying to find them out, but when you get to like more complicated equations and you just are simplifying them. You don't even solve you it's don't just, even fucking find x. It's li- the one thing you get out of math, which is you find the answer to this mysterious m- magical equation <laughs> you don't even fucking get. That is the point where I'm like, okay, that's it. Math is pointless. I don't. I'm gonna for. I'm gonna purposely forget it, it all of this as no, soon as I'm it's done. Like here's, it's like, but like before, it's like simplify. But it's like, yo, dude, I got my calculator out. It doesn't like you could give me the same vari- Like you give me the variables. Sure, the simplified equation and the equation at the beginning give me the same answer. But dude, the equation at the beginning, I have a calculator. Like, like, dude. I have a phone that always has a calculator in it. It's not that hard to pull out a calculator. And <laughs> exactly. that's something they did in you. In exactly. Grade, in grade, like, you'll, you won't always have a calculator with you. It's like, well, actually. Yes, you will. Well, actually, I do. Well, actually, I do. So, <laughs> so you don't need. Exactly. So, so that's you, the thing. You don't, you don't need, need to learn so math you because you have a calculator in your phone. And so any no, math you, you don't ever need okay, to do, my thing, you can you do it with I your think, phone. I think simplifying is pointless. Well, yeah, you don't need to learn calculator math, at least. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to learn any math anymore. Yeah. 
Well, I think it's important for like well, okay. it's important for like elementary. You need to you learn. Just, you need, to, you need grades, to understand how it works. Before you need to you learn grades one to three, and that's it. Yeah. Well. well yeah. And grade three was the point that I no, I say I, I argue. Now. I argue. I argue, like, okay, I'm done with this. I argue one to six because five and six help you perfect times tables, division. Because I didn't learn five and six. Well, I didn't learn long division until five and six. I never learned long division. You didn't learn long division. No, okay. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> They didn't teach me. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, good thing we have calculators. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. Don't need long well, I still find it fun to solve long division. Long division is kind of fun, actually. Well, I wouldn't know because I never learned it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to talk about something? <laughs> What's wrong with hating on math? <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that something? Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're not supposed to talk about anything. Okay. This is nothing bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> um, do you want to talk about something, like, nerdy that we like? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, we find a topic. <laughs> I have some topics I've written down, and they're all pretty cool. Um, What's nerdy? It's your face. Ding, ding, ding. How about... How about... Do, okay, wait. Do you want to hate on something else, or do you want to... Or do you want to talk about something that is fun? Let's talk about something that's fun. <laughs> okay, um... I'll talk about my predictions... For the t- TV show, the CW Zero. Oh, okay. And that is the best predictions for season five of Arrow. How it will all end. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh, I know this. I because this is great. It'll end in season five. Okay, so probably okay, not. what's gonna happen for the for rest? What of, what's gonna happen with for the rest of season four though? Oh, okay. this is okay. This you're is my start with that. I'm gonna start with this. Because right, right, you know, I know you're basically. You know what I'm gonna do. So what happens? You know, okay. So this is what happens. Yeah. Felicity dies, or she doesn't, because exactly. because we can do whatever we want. Because we can pick either at this Because we can pick either at this point. Uh, <laughs> uh, a couple more filler episodes. He fights the ghosts a few more times. Yep. They capture someone or something. Yeah, that'll happen. They, they capture someone or something. <laughs> uh, Will um, someone die, though, because someone, he's a grave, right? Yeah. Uh, that could... That may or, no, so but someone, it's, it's not Felicity, because that, uh, that was six months later, and I did the math. Yeah, but I feel like they said it was around six months in that. Um, oh, okay. In, in okay. Okay. I don't know. Maybe so, Felicity dies or she doesn't. So, basically, someone dies. Someone dies. Someone dies at some point. Uh, someone gets captured. He has to break them out. Uh, or Team Arrow does, I guess. Uh, mm-hmm. He kills Damien Dark and destroys the ghosts. That's how season four ends. Is they just, okay. He just kills Damien Dark. Here's another. Under, all the ghosts are gone. Uh, is he going to become mayor? Yes. Until he has to superhero, and then he's like, <laughs> yeah. then he steps down. And he's like, I can't do this. Make my campaign manager the mayor because he's a cool dude, and he's sleeping with my sister, yeah, and, that, he's a, and he's a cool dude. <laughs> okay, I don't know who that guy is. I think he might be from the comics, but I definitely agree with you on that point. I think that'll happen for sure. That'll definitely happen. He's like, I have to superhero. He's a cool guy. Make him the mayor. Other prediction I have is I think that at the end of the season, he'll reveal his identity as the Green Arrow. Ooh, because that's the thing. <laughs> okay. Because why even wear a mask anymore? Like, why does he wear it at all? That's the point. That's what I'm because saying. Because the arrow is dead. The arrow was Roy Harper, and Roy Harper got killed. Okay, that's the other thing. I want Roy Harper back because yeah. his story got it, it got really interesting the, the second he left, and then they're like, "Yeah, by the way, he's not the strong." Well, they flat they flashed and furious him. Fast, fast, they fast him. and furious they him. Fast and furious. They Paul Walker him. They Paul Walker him off. Yeah, they Paul Walker him off. <laughs> or it's like he's still alive, but like you know, for some reason the actor doesn't want to like, return because he's dead or something. <laughs> Okay, Paul Walker's dead. That's true. Roy Harper is or something. <laughs> so he's Weird. one. Okay, what's your season five prediction? Well, season five. That's prediction. basically season four. That's it's season the best four. prediction ever. Okay. So first of all, the, the obvious. Oh, um, we actually have, we actually have points for this. I'll if you forget them, I'll I'll, I'll point out. This okay. is one thing. This is one Easter egg. I'll first first of all, the obvious island plot um, finale, which is that um, Billy Wintergreen. Oh yes. If you don't know who that is, it's Slade's butler from the comics. But he was the other Deathstroke in season one. Who tortured him? Who tortured uh, Oliver at the beginning? Um, Slade then stabbed his eye, and then we didn't see him again after that. Yeah. So he comes back. 
yeah. on the island, mm-hmm. and it's just a, and the whole island flashback is just all of us surviving and trying not to be killed by Billy Wintergreen, and we never see Billy Wintergreen's face. He's just this like force of nature, and, <laughs> and with the mask, like, like the mask is like attack, like maybe it's like melted to his face or something like that. Like because of that sword. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just rolling with my ideas here, but we oh never see it. his true okay. face. He always has the mask. Got it. Yeah. Um, it's good. And and so it's just like this. And and that's where <laughs> Oliver gets really like grizzled and he really grows his hair out because for some reason he cut it in the last yeah. in this season. No, no, but okay, okay. it just gets loses- like. Crazy. Shaving is not a top priority yeah, anymore. Never, he's, and so he just gets more and more grizzled, more and more survivally. Mm-hmm. And by the end of the season, he's like the Oliver that we saw at the yeah. very beginning of okay. season. So one. what happens with the main and, story? And the main story arc is after Oliver's re- um, saved the city for real, um, and he's revealed his identity as the Green Arrow. Um, the only thing left that can happen is Billy Wintergreen comes back to Star <laughs> City. And he's not there to destroy the city. He's just there to kill Oliver Queen. It's his only goal. <laughs> Every villain wants, just wants to destroy the city for yeah. some reason. Season one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build it. I put an earthquake I'm machine in the city. Okay, that was cool. The earthquake machine was cool because he actually won. Because he did it. He did it. He did it. Um, yeah. Season two, I'm gonna send a whole bunch of superpowered thugs. To destroy the city, essentially. Yeah. Season three, I'm gonna release a bioweapon that's gonna kill everyone in the city, essentially destroying it. And season, then season four, four is I'm I want to see Star City die. I'm see it die. I, I want to see it explode for real this time. I want to see it. Why does he want to see the city die? Uh, <laughs> something about New World Order, maybe. Something about some family troubles. Know. Something about. Someone in his family getting his hand cut off? <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> Don't even care. <laughs> okay, but anyways, Billy Wintergreen's just pissed because Oliver. Mm. Um, I don't know. Maybe he shot it. He probably just shot an arrow in his eye <laughs> that he already lost. Yeah. No, he shot an arrow in his other eye, and so he comes back <laughs> and he's blind. <laughs> He has, he has what the spirit? You know no, but he has the no, mirror. He has the mirror. So, so, he so he's like, so he's like Daredevil. Devil. So no, like but he doesn't have either eyes except that um, you know how um, Deadshot has like the robotic eye, so he has two robotic eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I imagine it's like he has the mirror crew, so like he's Daredevil. Yeah, yeah. So he no, that's better. So he, <laughs> he can like see like Daredevil. All his other senses are enhanced. And <laughs> so he's like this crazy ninja. Um, <laughs> cyborg, cyborg force of nature <laughs> that is just trying to kill Oliver Queen. Change, and so, can you change the weather? So and so all that it, all, and so the entire fifth season is just Oliver trying to not get killed by by Billy Wintergreen, the greatest villain ever. And maybe yeah. he'll have to team up with Slade at one point to yeah, fight Yeah, Slade's still alive. Okay. Slade's still alive. And he fought Billy Wintergreen with Slade. Yeah. It's like, exactly. oh, I'm going to have to call upon an old... It's like, uh, it's like, it's like, oh, he's my, my old enemy, but he's also an old friend. And then it's like Slade, and he's like, I, you really want to... He's like, why do you want my help? He's like, it's Billy Wintergreen. He's like, fucking Billy Wintergreen. Billy Wintergreen. <laughs> You and then and then so he's teams with Slade. Yeah, and then imagine, yeah. So imagine um, so imagine this, Dan. Yeah. So uh, so basically, like Billy Wintergreen, he tries to kill Oliver, uh-huh. but he misses and he kills like Diggle or someone. He and then kills he, what? Diggle or someone. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then and then he like he escapes. I I don't know why he has to be on the island for some reason because this is this is this is yeah. present day present day. So he goes to the island it's and then arrow, present yeah. day Green Arrow. All in his green arrow stuff uh-huh. and death stroke, all in his death stroke stuff, just yeah. walk into the like they're walking like they're walking on the island and it's like playing the green like the arrow theme. And they're like gonna, and they're like, well, like well, we're gonna find this bastard and we're gonna kill him. And like <laughs> we're gonna find him, we're gonna kill him. And and um Yeah and, Oh and they uh and they, that'd not be awesome yeah. to see them teamed up together. Yeah, and after like the they're they they're fighting on the <laughs> island a few times, but eventually they realize they have to burn the forest down. <laughs> and they burn down the island. They destroy it. So that's gone. That's oh, done. That, oh, oh, because right? this is present. This is present. Oh, right? that's so actually they so do cool. that. So they kill so him. They, they kill him and they destroy everything burn, on the they, island. They, so that thing, like, this is a big finale, right? So that's yeah. that's finale. Him, now. And then no when more he, island and then, shit. And you know what happens? This is this is the be- I came with the best ending ever. So there's just this burned forest behind them. Yeah. And him and Slate, they're sitting on a, on the beach 
on like a tree, like like a knocked over tree. It's like a log now. Mm-hmm. So basically, they're sitting on the beach on a log, and Oliver he drinks a beer and he hands it to Slade and says, "We should do this again <laughs> sometime." <laughs> and then the credits roll. <laughs> That'd be pretty amazing. Okay. I feel like you I have feel, to. Okay. How would other stories conclude though in the fifth season? Because like, okay, would, Diggle dies. Uh, Diggle, Diggle, Diggle dies. Diggle and Felicity yeah. are dead. Uh, yeah. Thea. Uh, she should like. Kill, and so all she, I think I think she kills Merlin and then she becomes the she, next. She becomes the next race. Yes, I was but, just trying to think of all these. But, but she's story. like League of Assassins. We're gonna help. We're people. gonna actually be. We're gonna help now. people. Yeah, yeah, we're actually perfect. gonna take out corrupt leaders and stuff, and we're gonna help people. So that's how that's how that wraps up. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's all the characters. Yeah, Laurel. What Laurel. Else? Laurel could just be. Laurel like, becomes the the judge. <laughs> she's just like she's I don't just know, a court person. Someone now. important in, in Star City. In Paul Politics. She's a politician. She becomes commissioner of uh of Star Oh yeah. So okay. <laughs> I don't know. So no, no. Captain becomes- Lance dies. And yeah, she becomes, also, and she becomes commissioner. She becomes commissioner, but she like still wears the black canary costume. And she also was black canary sometimes. Yeah, okay. So, that, so this is actually the best send off to yeah. every character. Um, and Oliver, so Oliver is still around. He's still the he's still the Green Arrow, but yeah. he's not like a big thing anymore. Yeah, he just like, does oh, his vigilante he's like, thing. I'm gonna, like maybe he, he helps like, out with the so flash like, sometimes. So he's like, yeah, so he's sitting on. So when he's sitting on that beach with Slade, he's like, it's like Slade, we're gonna go after this, and Slade's like, I'm gonna go find Shadow's twin <laughs> because. I love Shadow, and she looks just like her. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's like, they're basically the same person <laughs> because twins are the same, same person. person. Because twins are the same person. That's what he says. And then, and then he's like, "I'm gonna go make lots of babies." And then, and then Oliver's like, "You know what? I'm gonna go do what I do best and vigilante in Star City. It's the only life I know. <laughs> it's the only life I was good at. <laughs> it's the only life I was good at." And then he's like, "You know what? You're not so. You're." And then he's like, "You know what, Oliver? You're not such a bad guy." And he's like, "You know what, Slade? You're not such a bad guy yourself." I forgive you for killing my mom, and then and then and then Slade's so like, I forgive you for sort of killing Shadow. Not really. <laughs> we're, good, we're good buds now. We're so all sh- buddy buddy now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So and that's so that's how you end Arrow. Do, like, just okay. all of it. That's okay. how you end all of yeah. it. Yeah. And then post credit scene. I figured it out. Oh, okay. Because Slate's got his things, he's, he's got like his hands stuck in a, like his arms stuck in like some kind of like a press or something. And then Arrow's like, they're coming for you. <laughs> no, no, um, so it, it zooms over to John Diggle's grave. Yeah. Um, and then his, um, okay, his mother comes over. <laughs> I'm just making it up. Okay. His, his mother, who we yeah. never met before, yeah. comes, <laughs> who, who we find out her name is, is some, is something Stuart. Yeah. Um, his dad's name was Diggle. Okay. Um, and then, and then a, a Green Lantern, um, what's it, what's it, what's the guy's name? The, the guy right before Hal. Abin Sur or something. Yeah. Like that. So he, his ship crashes right next to the grave <laughs> of John Diggle. His mother's like freaking out, and and then the guy's like, oh, "Give this ring to the next Green Lantern," and then he dies. And then the and then she takes she looks at the ring, and then it goes, um, and it and it um it it like flies up in the air. It shoots the green energy at John's grave. It brings him back to life. He comes. <laughs> His grave, and then he gets the ring on. So you're and saying he becomes okay. John's so what you're saying is that um, <laughs> Diggle was uh, John's father's last name, yeah. and Stuart is his mother's maiden name. Yeah. So he's basically John. So Stewart. he's basically John Stewart okay. now, that's and he actually, becomes the Green Lantern. That's actually, and, okay. and this is not to like s- continue yeah. Arrow at all because yeah. Arrow it's done. The season, okay. the show is over, but yeah. I think they'll eventually go okay. for a Justice League. I would love this season. Right? Actually, I would love this show so much. They'll if they go did. for a Justice League yeah. eventually, and yeah. so that's now. Now we have Green Lantern set yeah. up for Justice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. I think we should call this episode is going to be like life stuff and the best ending and, to, and the best possible ending, to Arrow. The so well, the, thing, the thing possible. we have to back this up from happening. Oh, we have. Is that we have. We have, I, have I have an evidence. Okay. I have an evidence. Yeah. So season one. This is this is okay. Season one, episode one. We don't before they even show Oliver on the island. Yeah. They show one of the Slade Wilson masks on a stick with an arrow through it. That's, that is episode one. And we don't know where it comes from. We that, don't know what it is. Is that it, episode one? That is episode one. Season one, episode one. So this okay. is after his five years on the island. I thought that there was, was a mask, like a Slade Wilson mask with an arrow through it on a stick. Right. 
And that can't be that slave. Is, that can't be slave because, because we already working. saw what happened to slave. So it's going to have to be Billy Wintergreen. Billy Wintergreen right. is going to have to make his A comeback. His comeback. <laughs> it's going to be the comeback season for everyone. <laughs> so everyone either dies or becomes a Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah. Or, okay, exactly. but, okay, things that you could actually see happening... Like other than that, that's just stupid. Just stupid. <laughs> okay, but, but um, but I could see Thea becoming the next. Yeah, Lewis that Adam. could happen, and actually killing her dad. She's yeah, like, you're, a hor- you're a horrible father. You're the worst father ever. <laughs> you revived an immortal being that we spent forever trying. We tried to kill him once, but then we had to go back in time and try to kill him again. We actually succeeded after he killed. Uh, Hawkman and Hawkgirl like 400 times. <laughs> yeah. He killed them 400 times and he's immortal. And you brought him back. Why did you do that? You're because, literally the worst. Because then you would owe me one. Because <laughs> then you would owe me one. Or are you, like, what are, um, is, is there any other things you would like to see in Arrow? Because I have a couple of other I don't know. Like, I think, episodes I think that I think would be fun, we, but don't need to happen okay. with this story but, that we have. So are, so are all the characters. I just want to go through all the character endings yeah. again. So. Vig- Oliver comes to Vigilante. Yeah. Slade finds other shadow. <laughs> finds um, other shadow. Yeah. Felicity dies. Yep. John dies, but comes back as a Green Lantern. Yeah. Moral <laughs> becomes chief of police because her dad dies. Yeah. Because I think he's going to die. Captain Lance dies. I uh, think he'll die eventually. Right. Uh, Thea funny. kills Merlin and becomes Rachel Gould. So yep. those are all great endings for all these characters. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's the best possible they can do. Yeah. I doubt the slave thing's gonna happen. I doubt that the, is- the only th- other thing I want to see, like other things I want to see is I I do want to see Roy back. Mm-hmm. I want to see him become Arsenal, like like yeah. real Arsenal from yeah. Young Justice. I don't know if he maybe he's like, like you know what I like think he is in that basically. You know what? I Did think- you see that? Um, did you see uh, Young Justice that far now? That far now. Okay. No, okay, but I really I cool. think I think there is a, an Easter egg in uh, Roy's thing, which is that yeah. Uh, his uh, witness protection name was Jason. Jason, like Jason and, Todd. Like Jason Todd, who was Batman's sidekick, and yeah. he feels responsible for dying. Which, he was Arrow's sidekick, and he felt oh, right. responsible when he died. But he actually faked his death, so... Yeah, it's okay. So that's, I think that's a small, like, the smallest... Maybe it's the slightest egg. Easter egg to Jason Todd, but no. Probably. Yeah. They do that all the time in this. Yeah. Show. The other thing I want to see is they made a few um, references to Hal Jordan. Oh, I still need to see Vixen, but yeah. Go. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh. definitely see oh yeah, Hal Jordan. That would actually be cool. To Hal Jordan, and one of the coolest things in the comics is like Hal Jordan and Green Arrow are always like buddy buddy, and they're they, both because they're both Nathan Fillion. Because they're both Nathan Fillion. <laughs> Wait, what was Green Arrow? <laughs> I was. I don't. I don't think I could just. Imagine. It's just because they both have like green in the name, but yeah. But, but I, I, I want to totally see like at least one. But green Arrow is usually wisecracker, so. Yeah, but anyway, at least I want to see at least one. Green Arrow, Green Lantern team up episode with yeah. Hal Jordan. I would yeah. love to see that. But Hal Jordan dies at the end of that episode and then gives it, throws then it. Then it goes to Abin Sur. <laughs> I don't know how this would work. You know, I haven't figured you that out. You know what? Okay. Okay, your dick thing doesn't work unless. No, it doesn't really work. It but doesn't I think work it'd be unless fun. we have no. Uh, no Hal Jordan. Right? No Hal Jordan. Yeah. But they've already made reference to Hal Jordan, so I think the. That would be something that would happen eventually. I don't know. Fuck it. Damn it. Okay, well, I still stick by my perfect um, season five of Arrow. Yeah, with the and perfect endings. And we have the proof. We have the proof. And maybe he just meets Hal Jordan. We have the speculation. We have the speculation, and we have all that stuff to back it up. <laughs> all that evidence. All that evidence all that of that evidence. one mask. You know um, you know what will probably happen to, um, to Quentin Lance? They'll probably just have a heart attack and be like, "No, my heart condition. I can't get my pills. curse. My heart condition." And then, and then he'll just die. He'll just die. The worst, the worst death ever. It would, but it'd be he's so crappy. Actually, no, no. He's in the middle of a battle, and he's like, "No, my no." He's like in the middle of a bath. <laughs> he's like, "Oh, that was a tough battle. Good thing I didn't get killed in it." Oh no, my heart condition. And then he dies. And then he, he says that. He says out loud. Oh no, my heart condition. And he just sinks into the bathtub. We see a couple bubbles and then it just stops. Like that. <laughs> it stops. And then we cut to Laurel finds him. He's just like a dead man's float but in a bathtub. And he barely fits. He's just a dead man's float in the bathtub. And it's like, oh no, my dad, he's dead. He must have been his heart condition. <laughs> I don't even need to do an autopsy to notice that. Time Magic eyes. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. Magic <laughs> eyes. 
She doesn't have any superpowers. That's what she needs. Who are you talking about? Now? Laurel. Laurel. Oh. Laurel has magic what, eyes. Oh, Pat, what would be the <laughs> the ultimate conclusion to the character of um, what's her name? Felicity's mom. Everyone's favorite character. Um, hmm. she becomes. Uh, oh, I don't even know. Freaking. Uh. Oh. 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 She seems like the kind of Cheryl yeah. that would be like uh that would like co-host uh early morning like cooking talk show. That's what her finale is. Yeah, because she's a pretty lame person and she just seems like she'd be good at that. I think she would be like she's just like okay, yeah, so now we're going to we're going to put the eggs in this but like don't do this to the eggs. We're going to add our spices to them I'm gonna first. Make, I'm going to make a souffle or whatever. Because I forget. We're going to hide a ring in it because. (laughs) That thing that they did in that episode. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that Mr. Terrific was gay? Wait, what? Who's Mr. Terrific? It's that black guy who's like Felicity. Yeah, he said, yo, me and my boyfriend, whatever. I'm like, oh, I guess he's gay. Nice nice job, TV. Not being subtle about that. Like, actually, like, actually, no, they were actually being, they were were actually really subtle about it. It wasn't like, I'm gay. It's just like, oh, that's what what they should do. That's how, that's how they should, that's, that's, actually, gay characters done well. They do good It's like him. Some of them are. And like Raymond Holt and like, like Captain Holt, Danny. Captain Holt, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, yeah, he's perfect. He's, like, my favorite gay character ever. Yeah, because he's not, like... Because it's just, like, oh, he's gay. That's just kind of, like... It's, like, like, it's, it's just a thing. It's just it? a thing. It's not, like, a... It's not, like, a gimmick. I hate it when it's a yeah, gimmick. Like, that's, um, when, that's when it's the worst. I hate it when it's, like, yeah. oh, look... It's like this. This, uh, can, this. This is a strong female character, and that's our gimmick: is that she's a strong female. Those usually yeah, fail and have like, some of the weakest female like characters. Supergirl? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I was gonna say is, I think um, I can't see. Put your laptop. There. Oh, I couldn't find the trackpad. Uh, okay. I was just. Ro- I was just awkwardly. Uh, what I was gonna say is, um, a, a gay character that I think is really token and really gay. Like they don't know what to do with is um. Um, the one police guy in the Flash. Oh, it's like every time he shows up, it's like, "Hey, have you solved that new case? By the way, I'm gay." <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't do that. The one, the, the time they introduced it, he's like, "Oh, my boyfriend tells me to watch my fats or whatever." Yeah, so but now, like I this, now I have this stupid. That's the sandwich. only thing we know about him is that he's gay. And then there's the, but then there's the one episode where he gets like in critical condition in the hospital, but it doesn't yeah. actually happen because Barry erases that timeline. And, um, and his, but, but his boyfriend says, he's, like, he's like, oh, I'm so worried. I don't want my my boyfriend to die. Yeah, but he's that's like so much to me. But that's I'm the only gay. thing we know about him. It's like, <laughs> exactly, right? It's so dumb. It's but like, it's not, but like, it's like, oh, nice beard. He's like, yeah, my, my boyfriend thought I would look good with a beard. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> yeah. Because he like, has a beard in the second season, right? I know, but like, don't people like, like, don't, don't police chiefs usually have nothing, but like, they either like brag about their wife. Like, isn't that just their only thing they do is just is like. Is their only characteristic? Yeah, it's the only well, characteristic. I want him to just have a personality. Uh, okay. Can he have that? Yeah, yeah. What's his personality? He's gay. <laughs> He's gay and he works at the police. That's, that's, his, that's personality. his personality. Damn, that's a, that's a good enough. <laughs> he's not an important. Character. No, he's not an important character. At least he's not like Iris. But they don't that block of wood. <laughs> that's true. Iris, the block of wood. I, with actually, a yeah. Now that you mention it, I think he's still a better character than Iris. Iris is the worst. <laughs> we just talked about for, much for like three hours how Iris is the worst. But but pretty much every character has been at least better in this season of Flash. Yeah. Like, or maybe I just like them more. Where Iris has been. Like, she only did one stupid thing, and she did solve it pretty, within a few episodes. Like, what was the stupid thing she did? She lied, she's like, oh, you have a son, mom? Well, go away, because I don't want to know anything about that, you liar. Because you're the one who lied, even though I never knew you existed, because my dad lied about that. And I'm not mad at him, because he's cool. (laughs) Because I know him. (laughs) Okay, I thought it was funny when she's like, I have a secret brother. His name's Wally. I'm like, oh, that would have been good enough for me. But then she's like, Wally West. I'm like, oh, thanks Wally for saying that. Wally West. Thanks for in saying that. In case you didn't get it. In case you didn't get it. Not comic, you know, comic book the fame. kid Flash 
you know, it's, from the comics. She just said she's that might, guy. She might as well. Just he's said my that. brother. She might as well just said that out loud. <laughs> yeah, they they really kind of hammered that in. Yeah, where normally the show is really good with the subtle references. Yeah, it's not it's not Gotham about it. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, Gotham season one about Got, it. Gotham season one. Season two is more subtle. Oh, season two is great. And actually, I'm actually amazing. I'm actually so excited for her. even though it's okay, kind of huge, dumb, huge, it's, huge spoilers. It. Not really. But like it's not huge, but There's, it's like it's still a spoiler. All spoilers, huh? It's still a spoiler, but I'm like the first time since for like actually like the first time ever. I'm excited to see Mr. Freeze in the movie or in the TV <laughs> show. In the TV show, I guess. I, I or just see haven't... just to see him again, just to see him again, but done like cool because Gotham does the villains really well. So, well, it, it's only villains. This season is called Rise of the Villains. Well... Which is the stupidest thing ever. Yeah, it's a dumb title, but I think they're going to nail Mr. Freeze, so... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mr. Freeze will be cool. The th- oh, well, the only thing is, it's like, he just kind of showed up and froze a guy, and we don't really know anything about him. You Usually, know what? Who cares? No. It's Mr. Frickin' Freeze. Exactly, which is cool, but normally we get, like... Oh, this is Doctor Victor Freeze and blah blah blah, and like we have that for like a few episodes before. Like I, I figured we would have that for a few episodes before, um, he gets he gets his origin. But apparently he's all the way Mister Freeze now. Yeah, which is fine. Mister Victor Freeze, like they'd be like that and that kind of thing. Be like oh, but I don't oh, know. Mister Freeze. Oh. Okay. Who would win a fight between Mister Freeze and Captain Cold? And Captain Cold, yeah. Um. Uh, Okay, is it Arnold Captain um, Mr. Freeze? It's like comic book both. Okay, well, I don't know the comic book either very well. Okay, Captain Cold. Ca- uh, <laughs> it's like the Flash. Well, okay, I would say he's Mr. Like, Freeze would win. Because he's like the he's one on like, the Flash. But Captain Cold, he's cool, and he's calculating, and he knows that Mr. Freeze cool can't Captain survive Cold. without that suit. He would be so able to figure that out? He'd be, yeah, because like, well, but like, his like TV is, show, like TV Flash show. So what, he would use his freeze gun to... No, he like to whip it. it. He could use the freeze, freeze gun. his freeze suit. No, no, he could like use the the butt end of it, like a pistol whip, to crack his helmet. But then he could just freeze his face. Mister freeze, freeze his own face off, and then he'd be fine. But how could he see or breathe? If he's got all this ice all over his face. He wouldn't. But he would be alive. You, you know what? It's just dumb. Uh, those those are really terrible. We would have enough. <laughs> yeah, we should never. We should never do those. We should never do those on characters that we don't know. Yeah, you can. Those are fun. Yeah, I had a, once had a really long conversation about who would win the fight between Spider Man and Batman, and that was good times. Spider Man wins, right? I remember win. Yeah, don't worry me. Death or, battle. No, wait, also, are, watch just watch okay, the death wait, battle. Wait, wow, we should do one on. The, well, if we had one. Okay. That we were both passionate about the other one would win. Then we could do like a d- debate about it, and yeah. then it would be good. Yeah. Where here it's like we agree on two yeah. things, so it's like uh, this except guy would for win, except guess. for like Mad Max, which is Mad Max versus Star Wars it versus episodes, every so. other movie, basically, because you're like it's the best movie ever. And I'm it's like, the best movie of this year, and I'm like it's not. And you're like, dude, it is. I'm like, it's not. <laughs> Tell me why it's not. Because the characters were shit, except for like one and one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're wrong. The characters just didn't say much. They but they w- were developed really well in the in the. Do you know surprisingly like, in the any of their action names? scenes? Yeah, yeah, Max Furiosa. Um, what's his name's character? Beast. <laughs> Um, all those girls. Exactly. That's what they were. Basically, this is what this is what they said. This is what they said on. This is what they said on. Okay. This is what they said on. Okay. This is what they said on. Like the guy with the bullets for a movie fights. Is that is that in um in in Mad Max? There's like there's like it's like basically the plot of the movie is that Furiosa and like Max are like. They're um, they have they have like this truck full of a whole bunch of Barbie dolls. Yeah, they have to transport to like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's what they said. That's true. Yeah, they have to escape tyranny, and guess what they do? They defeat it. They fucking defeat it. They're just trying to get away, 
But that's not good enough. You gotta face your problems and fight them. And they did that and they won. And it was really cool. Well, they didn't kill everyone. They just kind of blocked they it off. They drove faster they just than them it and off. blew up the thing. Like, they, 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 that's how you, sure, they killed, that's how you defeat people and like your enemies. It's like they killed Darth Vader, nice. but then they just kind of like put up some shields. And they're like, by the way, you can't come in. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like, it's I like if they exploded the no. one weak point in the Death Star. What a cheap victory! No, 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 no. But it's it. Think of it I'm more like a. They've only done like, that like two a, other times. Like a, like a playground standpoint. Like so, there's some kids, and they have this really cool secret fort, and you're like in their secret fort or whatever, and their gang. But like, yep. you think the rules are dumb, so you, you and some other kids run off, and then those then those kids run out of the fort, and they're like, hey. You can't do that. Come back here. <laughs> and then, you know what you do? Yep. You run, like, while they're out of the fort, you just run back, and you're like, by the way, you can't come in. It's our rules. <laughs> <laughs> We're the leaders of the fort now, because you left. <laughs> okay. That's that's the whole movie. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's just kind of, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> but it's done better, because it's, democracy and freedom <laughs> and things... <laughs> I'm they kidding. did not say democracy and freedom and things <laughs> once in this movie. But like, they didn't need to say anything because the story was told through visuals completely, and it's perfect. Look at all this sand. <laughs> visuals, people. The visuals. Did you not enjoy the visuals of Mad okay. Max? The perfectly shot and okay. framed movie? It was... I, I'm going to say this. It was really good. It might sound like I hate this. Like, like I hate this movie. It was really good. I'm just annoyed on how much you like it. <laughs> Because it's a perfect film. I, okay, I... It's flawless. I Like, after watching it, I didn't, like, instantly be like, oh, I want to own this on Blu-ray. I was just like, you know what, that was a good film. I'm going to, like, rent it from a video store, like, again in, like, two years. Well, you got to watch it again, then. Um, or maybe you're just wrong. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's a perfect movie. Oh, uh, so is... Star Wars Episode 4. So. <laughs> <laughs> Except that the dialogue is corny. You know what? It's perfectly corny. It is for the it's 70s. It's so good. But it doesn't hold up. You have to look at it through the lens of the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Which I do. I'm just saying that's a flaw. It will, that's a flaw that you can point at. So is your face. I think we should end this one. This we can. This is a topic of conversation for a bigger day. Yeah. Well, yeah, please tune in next time, time. Where we maybe talk more about that. Probably not. I, I, I we'll, we'll just talk about nonsense. Yeah, in life. Just nonsense in life. Okay. Well, this is actually a good episode, though. So yeah, bye or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to throw in another air horn before I leave, but you know.